So that lad, I was just telling you about, I got the car back for, the one with the fob, big Volvo thing. Uh, he wanted me to do this, he came to him at my house, sat in my house, he said, I want you to do a security for me, I've got a couple of uh, sandwich shops he had. But he was a solicitor, not a, like a solicitor for the law, a solicitor for like the property and land, really clever bro. So he said, yeah, I've got you a few jobs. So he had a couple of shops, he had two shops in Middlesbrough, one, one up in there. Up towards Gisborough, so you had three sandwich shops, and he wouldn't believe how much money they made. So it was just off Linthorpe Road, and you went in there, it was a little sandwich shop there. She was only a little woman who worked at the shop. Lovely, just do these ham sandwiches, were beautiful. I used to go in. So anyway, I'm in there one day, and this old, she, she saw me, oh, you're Brian, are you? And she was like, oh, he's a big lad. And then this old, this woman comes in about 76 years old, I'd say maybe 80. Hey, love, she went, but you're bloody big, aren't you? you know, some, oh, some old these people are just, just fall down there. You're a bloody big lad, aren't you? No, not that big. She said, you are. <laughs> One of them tells you off. And I went, oh, yeah, thank you very much. She went, um, she said, I could have done with you the other day. I said, well, what's that, love? She went, the kids around the street. She said, they're throwing water balloons at my window. I'm trying to get to sleep in that. So I had, like a nap in the afternoon, big fella. Call me big fella. Like a sleep in the afternoon, big fella, just before, after something to eat. I said, why, what's happening? Anyway, it was that, I know the shop was there, hey, ma'am. She said, Mother, stop pestering me. This is Brian Cox. I said, Oh, you the Brian Cox. She knew because they've obviously told her. Oh, thanks for helping me, um, my son in law, my daughter, and all that. And she's lovely, yeah, you know. And so I said, All no, the lovely people. And she's going, going on as they do. So anyway, we're talking, having a laugh, and then somebody else come in. Hey, big Brian, you doing? She went, Oh, you're a celebrity, are you? She said, Oh, yeah. And she's lovely, but an 80 year old. So I said, She'll talk your ears off, you know. I said, I'm not bothered, so I'm sitting talking about you. In the war, we've done this, and in this, and in that. And she's going about all this. And I, I love old people because they're class. And, They've stood up for us in the war and they've fought uh, the Germans in the war. No disrespect them now, but they've stood up there and said, fuck you, so we're not going to lose. And they're, they're all, all them old school, I love them, me, because they're there with the backbone of the country. That backbone, what they had then, them old people. We haven't got that, no. We, we have, the oldest version. But the next generation haven't got it. You know, that we won't give in. Never give in. We'll walk for miles to, to go somewhere. We won't get the bus. We'll, we'll walk. These kids now won't do anything. They're just lazy. So anyway, she's taught me about all this stuff. Anyway, she went, I said, do you want to lift home? Oh, would you? She said, I've got a few bits of bobs. I'll just get a few things. She's getting the sandwiches and bits and bobs out of the shop. Bit of butter and this, that and the other. So I said, okay then, love. So it goes and puts it in the back of the boat. Said, Ooh, like, like, like the Codsworth. <laughs> I said, get in then. It was all leather seats and I said, I'll even heat it up for you. Put it on. She said, Ooh, I can feel that bed in my bum. She said, it's class. I'll just... Anyway, I've taken her home. It's only a few streets away from where the shop is. I said, I, 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 she was even carrying her own, I think she was nearly 80. She was carrying another the, the trolley thing to pull. I said, I'll put it in the boat. You know what? And I said, get off. Do you want to fight me? She's laughing her head off. Anyway, she's funny as, and uh, Anne was the same. Anne was at the window, peeing herself laughing. She said, you and my mum was unreal. So she said, uh, oh, I just live here. I just said, there's my house. She said, oh, there's them lads. She said, they're about 15, 16. You know? They're the ones who keep um, torturing me, big fella. I went, all right, so I've got all psychology. He said, me screaming at them, went, hey, lad, you all right? You know why I'm doing you? Brian Cotler went, oh, yeah, 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 I know you. And then the dad's going, hey, Brian. And then somebody else goes, hey, Brian, they all knew me in the street. I said, do us a favour. There's some kids torturing there on the night, throwing water bombs out of windows. You know what was then? I said, if I get older, I'm going to strangle them. But I was talking to the ones to sort it out who were doing it. So psychologically, I'm fucking hell, if he finds out, he's going to kill it. <laughs> so I said to me, Nana, I said, um, I said I'm worried about I said, she's uh, not sleeping. Oh, we'll keep an eye on her for you, we'll keep an eye on her. Anyway, I come back about two days later, she went, unbelievable. She said, not one bit of noise or nothing. And then when I'm coming out, they're going, do you want me to help you with your trolley and all that, Mrs. Uh, yeah, Brian, Brian, Mrs. Are you Mrs. Cockrell? And I said, she wasn't. She said, I think she had the one, pretending it was, she was called Cockrell. <laughs> it was funny as. And then we went, I went to see Nana again. She went, oh, she loves you, she said. Anyway, she popped up, she came in the shop while I was stood there getting some more sandwiches one day, about four or five days later. She went, I know you a big favour. I'm going on a date with you. She went, going on a date with me. <laughs> she was 80 year old. <laughs> she said, we'll go to the bingo fest. Then we'll have a go down such a we'll have a few, few, a few drinks in this pub and that. <laughs> she was hilarious on her. She was brilliant. Yeah, just old school. But yeah, just, I thought he'd like that story because it was funny. Yeah, lo love old people because they're class, you know, they just tell you what it is and how it is. Class, so anyway, that's another story in your day, guys. I hope you're okay, but don't forget to push the like button. That's the right one. Push the like button because it does the trolls' heads in. <laughs> Cheers, guys.